All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be discussing what you should be looking for when you're buying a used Subaru WRX. As you know, I bought mine brand new and I was actually debating about buying a used Subaru WRX until I realized that, you know, how many people have actually beat on this car. If it's multiple owners, multiple people have beat on the car. Subarus are kind of known for, no one buys a Subaru WRX or an STI uh, not to beat on it. They drive it hard and uh, there's plenty of things to look out for. Uh, if you're if you're a buyer, you're looking in and you want to see, you know, say you check the engine bay, say you're just looking around the car, you're going to be looking for scratches, dents, uh, any type of accidents, check the Carfax report, any type of accident or stuff like that. Also, a big thing to note is if the car has a Cobb access port or it has been tuned, that's pretty, pretty much a giveaway that the car has been driven hard. My car here does not have a Cobb access port. Usually people will mount it somewhere around here where the vent is, somewhere around there, they'll mount their Cobb access port. So that's pretty much a giveaway that the car has been beat hard. And uh, another thing to look for would be engine mods. So anything like a intake, intake, blow off valves, anything to make the car a little bit more fun to drive. Honestly, you know, people have beat on it. So anything like that. Also, you want to look for, like I said earlier, dense scratches along the doors. Also, you can look for if they have an exhaust exhaust is a pretty much a giveaway but if you are buying it used there could be uh the owner actually could remove the exhaust just to try to show that it looks like it's stock but it has had an exhaust on it before so it has been driven somewhat hard and if it is a manual transmission you have to be aware that the uh clutch depending on the kilometers on the car or if the driver actually burnt the clutch out prematurely, uh, you want to make sure that the clutch is okay because that is a big job with labor and uh, labor and just the cost of the actual clutch is a lot. So you want to make sure the car doesn't have too many kilometers in my opinion. If I was buying a used WRX, I would be looking low kilometers and I wouldn't be looking for anything that looks like it's modified. Anything in the engine mod, like I said, intake, blow off valve, tuned anything like that, even a cat back exhaust, especially I've seen some with upgraded turbos. So you don't definitely don't want to uh, buy one with anything upgraded, upgraded turbos, FBO, full bolt on, anything like that. You want to make sure the car is pretty much stock because that will give you the best, uh, best chance for reliability. Another thing I wanted to point out uh, to everyone is how great this color looks in the rain or when it's a little bit cold I like this world rally blue really looks great and uh this is honestly what i appreciate the color the most in the rain it's a little bit cold out it almost looks like a frozen matte color on camera but it's just an amazing blue i'm very happy with my choice of color on this car looks amazing so another thing to note is i know i said if the car has like low kilometers or it doesn't have any mods that it probably won't be beat on, but that's pretty much not really fair to say because any WRX or STI, I would say in my opinion, has been beat on or has been driven hard throughout its life. But if it has lower kilometers, it should st it'll still last you longer. So I would be looking, depending on your year, uh, look for the lowest kilometers you can get because they are great cars and I would highly recommend the Subaru WRX to anyone. Buy new if you can, but I know that the VA, which is this WRX generation right here, has been discontinued. They have brought the VB on, uh, which is the 2022 WRX. So if you're looking for a VA, you have to buy it used, which is why I'm kind of making this video, just to make you guys aware of what you should be looking for when you go to buy your next used WRX. But like I said, the, some, cosmetics mo some cosmetic mods like that fourth brake light, other mods, stickers and stuff, they don't add horsepower. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. But I would still uh, test drive the car if you can. If it's used, test drive it. Make sure you actually feel out the car. If it is a manual, uh, feel out the clutch. Hopefully it's not slipping. 
if it's slipping, then you got to get him down on the price uh, so he can kind of compensate for that cost to uh, put in a new clutch because it isn't cheap. And uh, if you are a manual driver and it is your first manual car, don't let everybody learn on your car uh, so you can preserve your clutch and have fun with it yourself. That's my view on it. But those are pretty much just a few things to look for. And any cosmetic uh, damage, definitely the engine mods. If you see that access port, you know it's pretty much been beat on. So look for intakes, look for tunes. And uh, that's pretty much uh, all you need to look for. But that will wrap up this video. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Also, if you're new, please subscribe to help out the channel. We really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.